This is Scott from My Life's Reward. We're going to be going on a canoeing trip. Um, got my gear laid out here. We'll be leaving tomorrow morning. Just going to give you a quick look at everything. I'll flip the uh, camera around here. All right, now that we got the camera turned around, this is my canoe trailer, a converted boat trailer. It has uh, room for one canoe and a kayak. Can do two canoes if you get creative. There's a storage box here that holds the paddles and the life preservers. My canoe is a Winona Saranac, 15 foot, made out of Rolodex, Royal X. And then uh, there's the kayak here. This is Fred's kayak. I think it's about 12 feet um, with the new kayak rack I just installed. Uh, let's see. On the front, we have a bow bag from Granite Gear. And uh, that's handy to put things that you might need <clears throat> when you're at the front of the boat, maybe pulling it through some obstacles and things. Uh, I have my yoke bag here from Granite Gear, which is accessible from my seat. And then I have my seat that I um, usually use on the floor. I just have it there strapped so it doesn't fly away in the wind when I'm trailering it. There's my sponge ball that keeps the water um, cleaned up and then my bailing thing. And then I've got my life jacket for my dog, Pixie, and then my life, my NRS life jacket for myself. Uh, then some various items here. Uh, oh, we have yoke. I have uh, under the seat granite gear bags as well that are installed here and a thwart bag. Don't have a thwart on this canoe. I have it on my Mad River. It's also handy for storage. As I said, the box has all my other stuff. We've got a uh, barrel here. This is a 60 liter barrel with a 30 liter barrel top on it that's inside the house with the food. That's my dog. Brindley there, Irish Setter. And you'll see Pixie here, who is uh, with a Golden Retriever, and she's the one that I'm taking on the canoe trip. The barrel, this barrel's just holding various gear. I have my kitchen organizer uh, strapped on there. And, uh, and then we have various stuff that's in a dry, tight barrel here that we need. And it, <clears throat> keeps everything nice and low to the canoe, lower center of gravity, which is nice there. So first time I'm trying that. I've got my spot GPS, a couple of dishes for Pixie, some paper towel, a little homemade camera mount with a clamp, a construction clamp, and a quarter inch screw, and an extender. We've got a little extender here to can move it. I think it goes about 18 inches or, or thereabouts. Some maps from Gaia GPS. My bug net there in the orange bag. First aid, some insect spray, and some sunscreen in that little tube. Some other camera gear, tripods, and phone mounts. I have my dry bag, various sizes of dry bags here. Sunglasses, a knife, and a wallet. Here we've got some paddles, uh, extra wooden paddle for Fred on the left, then his paddle that he uses on his kayak, my paddle, kayak paddle that I use for spare on my canoe, and then my regular paddle to the very right is what I use 90% of the time, 99% of the time, probably more. And they have tethers on them to hook to your life jackets. So in case you get flip or whatever, you, your paddle kind of stays with you. So that's nice. Here I've got my dry boot or my wet boots, I mean. So I, I use those when I'm wading in the water and I have to take and do some portaging. That's nice. My sandals for when I'm we're doing their camping part at night my paddling gloves, my Cabela's jacket there. I have my rain gear, my in the black bag are the pants, and in the green bag is my jacket. 
I've got my Tilly Wanderer hat there, which I also have a Tilly, Tilly uh, Hikers hat, which I like too. Um, we have the dry bag, the 110 liter Bills dry bag. My tent, my REI half dome two person tent, my Nemo air mattress, and then my uh, enlightened equipment quilt, 20 degree quilt. In the orange bag is a uh, uh, sleeping bag insert just to sort of protect the quilt from any dirty in this. Couple of chairs there uh, underneath that uh, orange bag there. And then I have my tactical bag, my gray bag there is my tactical bag. And the red bag there is my, my, my hygiene bag. And then below those I have my 19 inch for, uh, Gransford Brook uh, Forest Axe. And then my Agua Canyon folding saw, which come in very handy. And if you're canoeing, you know, you can spare the weight. If you're backpacking, you got to make a choice. If you want to take one of those, it's probably something lighter. And then some water that, uh, you know, we want to use for cooking and drinking and for uh, Pixie. Make sure it's fresh water rather than on the river. Once we're in the lower part of the Muskegon, you don't ever, never know, so... And uh, that's about it. So thank you for watching. And uh, I appreciate you visiting the channel. The next part I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick overview of my clothes and food. So uh, that'll be in the next part. So thank you. For food, we used Mountain House dehydrated meals for breakfasts and dinners. Otherwise, we just relied on granola bars and nuts packs and uh, fruit for in between while we were paddling so we could continue to be on the water so that addresses the food uh, as far as clothes um, have the three sets of clothes pants and shirts t-shirt underwear for each day so three sets which I have to do better at that I have to be able to pack a little lighter but I'm working on that and then I had a I have a pair of socks uh, that I use to sleep along with some thermal underwear from Carhartt, the super extreme cold for uh, for nighttime sleeping. So so that's the food and the clothing that uh, is used for this trip. This wraps up the equipment overview and the food and clothing that's used on this canoe trip. The uh, trip will happen over Memorial Day weekend of this year, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. There will be a video for each day, released uh, every week for the next three weeks. This is a bonus video, just kind of laying out all the things that we took with us. And the video uh, for day one will likely be within the next uh, day or two. So I wanna thank you for visiting the channel and if you uh, like what you're seeing, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button and that alarm bell so you'll know when I post future videos. I like to post weekly. Usually Friday is my target day. And uh, until then, thank you.